the late Alaye More of Ido Oshu Kingdom has been described as a highly dedicated monarch who made the progress of his subject and Ido Oshu the course objective of his reign and was an advocate for peace. This was made known as the late Oba was laid to eternal rise in accordance with Islamic tradition. Taiwo Larawaji completes the report. The Ido Oshu Kingdom is in mourning following the passing of His Royal Majesty Oba Dr. Adiremi Aditakpo. The Alaye Mori of Ido Oshun, Obadidakpo, who was an architect and legal practitioner, joined his ancestors on May 18, 2024, after reigning for 19 years. He also served as the Secretary of Obas in Yoruba land and in Nigeria. Reflecting on his legacy, Prince Adewale and Prince Musiliu Adidakpo, the late Obas brothers, described him as a dedicated and great man who was a staunch advocate for peace and the progress of, of his domain. They emphasized the immense void his passing has created. My brother was a hardworking man. Uh, he started from an humble beginning. He was a determined man, very ambitious. So he did well. But you can learn from his life is determination. Determination. Yeah, because he was determined. And for all of us, we imbibe that in him. Generosity. He's kind to, he, was kind to, he was kind to people. He was kind to people. He, he can be in an environment I will not feel his presence. Yes, very humble, very humble. I mean, not many of us have those characteristics. Was a very generous man, and he made the spirit of tolerance. Wherever he is, maybe in a gathering or whatever, you will so like him because he's a jovial person. The late Oba children, Dolakpo, Adideji, Adidakpo, remember their father as a loving, caring, and humble man. They highlighted his focus on the progress of Ido Oshun and the well being of his subjects. My father was a very kind, Person, he was very accommodating. Even though he was able to achieve a lot of things, you will not know if you are with him. He's very, he's a very humble man too. It was such a big loss for Ido Oshun. Um, I've only been here once or twice. Um, I live in America, but um, it's heartwarming to see how many people loved him. How many people are so uh, heartbroken by his um, death? And he really was a good, good person, a good, caring person, and he loved his family, and it, it really is a great loss for all of us. Lalu Abogunloko, a representative of the Rebat Group, expressed that Oba Adidak was dead is a significant loss to Nigeria. He fondly remembered the late monarch as a dear friend of the Rebat Group. KBC was a friend of the Rebat Group, a, a father to us. In fact, one of the the first ever royal father to embrace the principle of the United Region of Nigeria. He was an advocate. And uh, we, we, we were saying amongst us that uh, this is not the right time that KBAC should go, as if there, there is ever a right time for somebody to die. It is a, it's a great loss to Nigeria, to uh, the advocacy, uh, Fold and uh, to to people of Oshun, to Nigeria at large. So we are in a solemn ceremony. The late Oba was laid to eternal rest in accordance with Islamic traditions. Muslim clerics offered prayers as a tribute to his life and legacy. The prayer was attended by the deputy governor of Oshun State and various Obas from different kingdoms who gathered to pay their respects and honor the late monarch. Taiwo, Olani Impact TV News.